Hi guys, bonjour mes amis, I'm Booger, welcome aboard. I've not done uh, beef barbecue meatballs in there yet, so we're going to try that out. But we're going to put a little hidden gem inside the meatball. Because, I don't know about you, but it's, I, that's why I don't like meatloaf. It's like, that's too much meat for me. So we're going to put we're gonna put something in there. You guys ready? Let's go. Chin chin. Alright, so here's what I found to work with. We're going to put this inside a meatball. Yes. I've got um, eight ounce uh, block of cream cheese here that um, I just nuked it for about 25 minutes just so I can mix stuff in there. Um, you do room temperature, it's the same thing. But I've got a bundle of green onions here that I chopped up and, uh, you know, finely diced up. I guess you could say diced, yeah. Chopped, diced, I don't know. And here I have some cooked bacon. <clears throat> Also done in the air fryer. You should try bacon in the air fryer. And I put it through my mini processor. It's about um, about six, seven slices. <laughs> more bacon, more better, right? So I'm gonna mix all that up and put it back in the fridge so it, it's it, the cheese hardens up a little bit so it'll be easier to work with. All right, so let me do that and I'll be right back. Here we go. We're gonna mix uh, the beef up first. I've had that stuff in the fridge for a couple hours, the cheese um, mixture. So I've got a little over a pound of ground beef here. And I'm going to use some seasoned breadcrumbs, garlic and herb, so that way I don't have to put garlic powder or onion powder or anything like that. No salt and pepper because um, the salt is going to be coming from the bacon and we'll be good. So I'm going to put probably, I'd say a third of a cup of that. All right. And I'm, I am going to use a little bit of spice. This is from uh, my buddy Kent at Daddy Dutch Barbecue. He, uh grows his own peppers and mix this all up and it's going to put a little bit of kick in there there you go that's up to you you can put you can put a little bit of cayenne or red pepper but thank you i'm going to put a, a link to his channel down below it's pretty cool Whew, i can smell that from here i'm going to put an egg it's going to be acting like a binder you got breadcrumbs and an egg it's always a good binder when you're doing like meatloaf or or meatballs and a little bit of flavor. I'm going to put a tablespoon of Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Okay. So I'm going to mix that up and then I'll show you what I'll do. All right. So a couple things here. I'm going to get ready before I get my hands all dirty. I'm using the Rapid Crisp Air Fryer by DeLonghi. All right. Now I'm going to uh, crisp up the, the meatballs a little bit first. And then I'm going to use the silicone. Uh, it's a muffin tray thing. It fits perfectly. I got it for my other air fryer and it fits there too. Just make sure the measurements of your pan is, you know, it, it goes with this. So I'll put a link down below of that thing. It's really nice. I've made a lot of recipes out of that. So first, let me spray this with some olive oil. And then once we get them crisped up a little bit, I'll take them out of there and put them in that silicone, silicone thing. Because I'm going to put some barbecue sauce. Anyways, that's the thought process behind that. Here's your best friend when you're making meatballs. It's an ice cream scoop. Beautiful, eh? I've got two little spoons here. Now, I'm going to make, uh, there's seven, uh, what can I say? Yeah, there's seven. So I'm going to try to get seven balls out of this, okay? There's going to be leftover of this. That's okay. I'm going to vacuum seal it and freeze it and call it filling for meatballs. So next time I do meatballs, I'll just take this out. So it's probably going to be good for two batches of this. But we'll see. All right, so I need seven, right? Okay. Let me flatten this down here so we can see how we can get this going here. Sorry, I don't want to take you out of the frame here. It's just the eyeballing it, okay? Uh, so let me see. What do I got here? I'm going to do a tool. Cat saying sis set. So it'll be seven right here. Okay. All right, here's where we'll take it. One. Okay, make a little dent right here in your ball. Okay, take some of this feeling here, and it's really hard now, which is good. It's not going to melt out as fast. I actually don't need two spoons, but anyways, here we go. Put some of that in there. I'll grab this. Pop it out. That's a big meatball. Why not? It's gonna be so good with that bacon in there. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna lay that in the air fryer. Let me do another one so you know. Okay. 
like that. I'll make a uh, dent in there. Love that. Put the rest of there on top. Just figure it out. You know, you just. It's a lot easier this way. That way I get the same measurements on, on all the uh, balls, okay? So let me finish this. I'll be right back, change the angle to the air fryer, and we'll go from there. Beautiful. Could have fit more in there, but that's okay. Let's plug her in. Ugh. Now what's nice about the Rapid Crisp from the DeLonghi, well, both air fryers that they've made, it's got a bottom burner, so I don't have to flip anything over. It cooks the bottom as well, so that's nice, right? All right, so let's go to, can you see? I'm probably too close, there you go. All right, so you got french fry, pizza, chicken, casserole, manual, that's what I want. And on manual, the bottom is on. You can turn that off, but not in this one. Uh, let's go full blast, because I want to crisp up really fast before that cheese has a chance to melt, okay? I'll let you know how long I do that. It says 30 minutes, but I'll let you know how long, okay? All right, you guys, 13 minutes, and I'm gonna call that done. Look at that beautifulness. We got a crust going on. The cheese stays inside, so I wanted to do it this way so the fat renders out in the, I hate to be a little gross, but that's blood. Anyways, so it's not fully cooked yet, so I'm gonna take these out and then uh, I'll show you what the next step is. All right, so I dumped that stuff out and just wiped it really quick with a paper towel. This pan is so easy to clean, you have no idea. So I'm going to drop that off. Now use your favorite barbecue sauce. I happen uh, to use Uncle Steve's barbecue sauce that he sent. I'm going to put a little bit of that on the bottom. All right, I'm not going to do them all there. I'm just going to show you what to do. I'm going to take one of these beautiful meatballs like that. And you guessed it, a little bit more sauce on the top. All right, so let me finish all that and then I'll show you what the temperatures I'm gonna use. All right, just wanted to show you, I ran out of barbecue sauce. It was a leftover jar, but this is Tom's favorite. So I'm gonna do two of them left with this kind of sauce. Okay, I'll be back. All right, so it's almost cooked. So we're gonna turn the temperature down, okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down. Um, same thing, manual setting. Let me just do a two. Um, 17 minutes is too long, so I'm gonna check it. I'll let you know the total cooking time, but leave the bottom on and all that stuff and go from there. Number two. And if you want to know what that means in temperature wise, listed under the, uh, the video, there's a show more box. It tells you what those temperatures mean, okay? So I'll be back. As we're talking 11 minutes, I'm gonna check this out, see if we've reached 160 degrees. Ooh, looks good. Ooh, it's climbing. 155 56 really 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 157 we're really close you guys well this one's over 160 yep it's cooked so whatever that was that's good just make sure you invest in a meat thermometer and uh, uh you get 160 degrees you're good to go all right so let me uh take this out and plate it and taste it all right, you guys, Tom just got home and he's gonna try that out. You need a fork and knife? Mm-hmm. Okay, I put toothpicks in there, just, you Are know, you whatever. you forking crazy? <laughs> Say hi. Hi, people. All right, go ahead. This, that's your barbecue sauce. This is Uncle Steve's barbecue sauce. Oh. Yeah, I don't think it's for sale yet. Yet, Uncle Steve, if you're watching this, you need to market that sauce. It's freaking amazing. You're so gentle. Oh, yeah. Can you see what's inside? Mm hmm Hmm, pretty good. But I don't think that's the right barbecue sauce for that. No? No. Okay. You wanna try that one? Yeah. Okay. Because I ran out of that one, so I saw that one in the fridge. I was like, let me try that one. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, I mean a big piece. So you can make the balls ahead of time, you know, uh, mm. oh, sizzle yeah. them a little bit and then uh, freeze them. And then when you take them out of the freezer, just uh, cook them a little lower uh, heat and uh, until you reach that temperature. You like oh, yeah. that one better, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, I was trying to tell you, but you were talking. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so definitely a barbecue sauce, not this other one that I showed you. Mm -hmm. That's You picked that out. It's, it's, That's for pork, babe. Well, anyways. 
don't do that. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, there you go. Thanks for shopping. Bye-bye. So goodbye.